Welcome to the glass plate. We're going to do an example in which we can use penetration theory. The example concerns a nice cold drink. You pour your glass with water coming out of the fridge or whatever that has a lovely low temperature. But you would like to give it a flavor. And you can buy syrups that you can mix in. And we're going to do that the other way around that you usually do. Usually you put in some syrup, add water. Now we're going to put in the water first and then add out of the bottle some lemon syrup. Or you perhaps squeeze the lemon yourself and have that juice that you pour in. The question we like to ask is what is the time if you don't stir that is required for this to be kind of homogeneous or at least have lemon everywhere. If you don't stir this comes in as a jet or you pour it in and it's a will there will be some macroscopic mixing and I just draw a little bit. Here the stuff is but in between is not because there is no stirring action that really has moved and mixed it around. And if we wait here the flow comes to a hold and then diffusion takes over spreading out in all direction the lemon that you put in. And we can estimate this, estimate, no more than that, but it's good enough. A glass has probably a diameter of 5, 6 cm, let's take 6, doesn't matter too much. With our first squeezing and pouring in action, this distance over which the stuff has to diffuse will be on the order of a centimeter. Sounds reasonable to me. If you don't like it, take five millimeters. Doesn't matter too much for how we deal with it, nor does it matter too much for the order of magnitude that we back out. So the fusion length of one centimeter. Here is your fresh water. Here are the sides where there is concentration of lemon. And we would like that this fresh water is reached by the incoming lemon that from two sides penetrates into this. And an easy estimate is following the penetration depth. But now from both sides. So this penetration depth, which is as always pi d time moves in from the sides over our centimeter and thus it reaches the center and then lemon is everywhere in the space in between if this is not one centimeter but half because it comes from two sides. And with that I can compute the time t equals half centimeter squared, so that's one fourth, one quarter, ten to the minus four, divided by pi and t. Diffusion coefficient on the order of two, ten to the minus nine, and thus I equate that this is ten to the minus four, four pi a two, ten to the minus nine, these together are roughly 4, 12, 25, so this is 1 over 25 times 10 to the fifth. 10 to the fifth seconds is on the order of a day, this is about one hour. See, calculations can be done with this elementary reasoning, only knowing diffusion penetration, death, not even needing a calculator. If you want a fresh drink, stir it.